Oh boy. Oh god, we're back. Holy crap. I just blue screened after recording that last episode. Oh my goodness, that is so scary. I thought, again, as always, that that episode was just completely down the dump, or down the drain, whatever. What would you say? Yeah, down the drain. And I would have to re-record everything, which was, like, not really possible for that episode, because it wouldn't have been at all genuine talking about all the these things that I experienced and discovered, and... Oh man, I kind of liked the, the last episode, so... It was going to be really bad, and usually, of course, my... My uh, recording is usually fine, I can usually use AVI Repair in DxSori to fix that up, and it looks fine from what I can tell. Of course, I haven't edited... edited... edited it! Oh man, that's such an annoying thing to say. Uh, yet, so I don't know for sure, but the problem is usually Audacity might just randomly choose to not recover your stuff. I don't know why it does it, it just randomly does. So, luckily, it did. There was like a minor thing at the very end where only one channel had been recorded. So I had to like re-record re one line, but that was not at all a problem. So, phew, I hope everything is fine. It should be fine. Good lord, blue screens are the worst. So here we are, talking about super jumps. We're back. Super jumps, hooray. So what I've been calling super jumps all the time have been mega jumps. I, I mentioned that last time. And what are actually called super jumps is when you time, it's basically the, the exact same glitch, except a mega jump is done from, uh, from your double jump and from your falling velocity getting added to the jump, which is why they're so much more powerful. And a super jump is you jumping the very moment you hit a, uh, a boost pad when you're on the ground. So you have to use your, your normal jump as the uh, source of power or whatever for the, the jump. So you don't have any downward velocity. It doesn't send you as high, but it does send you quite a lot higher. Wait, was that higher? I think that was a super jump, wasn't it? Because normally you just get taken up like here. Yeah, that was a super jump. You can even hear the wind. So that wasn't bad. That was not a super jump. Yeah, you can like hear by the wind effect. Nope, not that. Man, I looked so cool just doing it, like, right away, and now I'm never gonna get it again. Oh man. Oh, and for this, I should just reset. So, like, didn't get it. Didn't get it. Too early. Too early. Nope. Maybe it's too early. Maybe I should wait. Nope. Nope. There we go. Got it. Man, that's pretty tricky. Yeah, I have to learn to use or to do those later on. So wait, I saw a thing over here. Didn't get a mega jump there. Might just want to try it. There, got it. Yeah, it doesn't take me very far. And there's nothing here. Just, just wondering, could have been a thing right there. Also, you can't, like... Nope, this is just a, a flat wall. You cannot go and climb that or anything. But yeah, you can, oh, I got it. You can actually chain a super jump and a mega jump. Ah, damn, but that's really hard. Yeah, I don't quite have the timing down for this yet. I have to practice it, but oh well. Didn't get a mega jump either. So now, now that we've talked about super jumps and mega jumps, which by the way, the, the weird thing is they are the exact same glitch, except one you don't have falling velocity in, but yet one is considered a glitch for the purposes of speedrunning. So if you're doing glitchless, you cannot do mega jumps. But you can do super jumps, which is just really weird to me. So I guess I should practice, like, doing it on... Did I get it? No, I didn't get it. Doing it on basically all the, the jumpers I come across, just to build up a muscle memory and try to try to learn to use it more and stuff. But yeah, here we are again. Apparently here, you don't have to shoot this, you can just do this. 
and even like in oh man even in normal play when you don't have the, the dash yet in a new game you can just easily jump across here and it's like a little tiny skip pretty cool and where is it I'm pretty sure there's a spark right here that I didn't get and I just completely missed but it's very very easy to see Yep, there it is, right there. And here as well, on these kind of boosters that aren't activated, apparently super jumping is even easier, because you can just activate one and then jump immediately. Yeah, I got it. First try. That does not take you that far, or that high normally. Pretty cool. So if we just go back quickly, and I do it the normal way, I just fly up like that high. So it's really quite a big difference. I didn't get it that time. Not quite sure what... What difference it is. I think I am firing the shot just a very tiny, tiny amount before I jump. Maybe that's not true. No, I didn't get it there. Okay, let's try at the exact same time. Yeah, I think I got it. Or, I mean, I, I did get it there, but I think that was it. Yep, that's not bad at all. Nice. And you can't, like... You can't disable already active ones, can you? Like this one. You can, but then it just gets turned on again. And I can't, like... No, I can't shoot it a second time to turn it back on. Because that would be very convenient for setting up super jumps. You could just, like, shoot one from here and then walk over it look down and then do a super jump without having to bother with a timing or anything. Yeah, that's really not bad at all. That's like one of the easiest super jumps. So I guess if you have this game, you can practice that. It's just pressing spacebar and left click, pointing down at the exact same time. Not any more complicated than that. So yeah, from here, this is a new spark, so I guess we'll check it out. This is like all new stuff, but I have seen speedruns, so this isn't completely new. Damn it new to me, because the speedrun route actually takes this this path, but you can... Yeah, right, this is a really interesting way that, that way that you can finish level 1. If you do... I didn't get it there. If you do a super jump, like that, into a mega jump, so now I can't land, I have to do it like that, but I didn't get it. So that's really interesting, you have to do it consecutively like this, then, yeah, that's a super jump right there, and then Mega, no, I think the timing for Megas might be a little bit different, so maybe I shouldn't press completely at the same time there, and even when I feel like I'm doing it at the same time, sometimes I don't get these, so I'm not entirely sure on the, the timing yet. Yeah, that was not it. I'm gonna try waiting a tiny fraction of a second before I uh, jump when I shoot this now. No? Maybe a little bit more? Not too sure. Yeah, that didn't happen. And if I, like, jump before I shoot... Yeah, I did get it. I, I think I clicked jump a little bit earlier. Maybe it's the same for this? Yeah, that that was like very noticeably earlier on the jump. And that doesn't work. Not sure how precise this really is. It's very interesting though. Oh man, I'm just not getting it. Guess I should reset every time. Okay, there we go. I really want to get this just to show it off. Nope. 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 Okay, got it. Let's wait even longer. Nope. I, I didn't even jump there or like... Yeah, that was way too late. Imagine doing this in a run, holy shit. 
I mean, this is early in a run, so I guess if you miss it, like, a few times, you can just reset, but still. There are a lot of tricks like this that I would have to get very good at if I'm even... even going to compete in the slightest. There we go, I got it. And now we just go up here. And all the way... Fuck! Yeah, you're supposed to land right there. And then you can, like, super jump again, or I don't quite remember exactly what you do, but you're basically at the very end of the level when you're up there. So you just, like, right away go into level 2, and it takes, like, a minute to complete this level, which is fucking awesome. I, I love it. So, I'll probably experiment with that a bit, but not right now. Right now we'll just continue looking for collectibles and stuff, and trying out these new... Ow! These new sparks that I... What? What just happened there? that I found. Oh man. Oh, and here's another little cute trick. You can actually, if you fail that in like a speed run, let's say I'm doing a speed run and I fail the super jump so I don't get up right here. Instead, what you can do is jump up here and here and then nudge yourself into this corner and then just jump up like that, kind of. So normally, of course, you wouldn't be able to jump that high, but again, the corner thing, this is like another place where it's actually useful and you can just get up that way which is pretty interesting to note oh that's something you don't want to do you don't want to use your double jump before you hit the uh the thingy the the boost because then you just get sent sort of flying downward instead of forward oh crap there we go so i want to jump up and then do it because then i have my double jump as well in case something goes wrong and I could probably just dash out, like... Nope, maybe not. Oh, no! Damn it! Ah, oh, crap. Yay. Got it. Oh, man. Yeah, there's probably some timing there for, like, actual speedruns. Where you can do that consistently. Of course, you wouldn't do it if you have the dash and all that stuff. Oh god, that was close. Oh man, you're supposed to jump over this. You can do that without the dash, but eh, that's fine. Um, I guess this was like sparkified, so I wouldn't have been able to get this. I could probably get the track. I could, I could probably like jump from over here and just like dive out into into nothing and just pick up the track if I wanted to, but we don't have to now, so that's cool. Another boost here. If I go in here, what is what is here? Ah, damn it, get up. Yeah, this is like all of that stuff. Not sure if I'm missing things here. Crap. As I've said, the main purpose now is actually just finding collectibles. So I have to be a little bit observant about my surroundings and stuff and not focus too much on speedrunning. So here, you're supposed to go through lasers and stuff, but in the speedrun, you can just jump up here, like that, and then jump across here. Of course, you wouldn't have the dash right now, so I can't, like, use the dash, which I probably have to do right there. But, yeah, you couldn't do that normally, so I have to get used to that. But here, I just want to show another trick, if I can do it. Yeah, that, that kind of worked. That's a, uh, what was it called again? Slope boost? Corner boost? Uh, curve boost? Curve boost, that's the one. So, on these curved surfaces, you can dash and jump at the same time, or jump back and then dash into it. That also works. Oh god, oh god, I'm fine. But it's a bit weird, I don't personally know, I haven't experimented at all with it. Like that, that was pretty fucking great. That was like a perfect one, but you can also do it just from standing still. If you, like, jump at the same time, I think. Yeah, like that. Just jump and dash at the very same time, and you can get a curve boost. And then you can get up to some pretty high areas like that, which is pretty cool. In here... Do I want to go in here? Probably not. Is there... Yeah, there was a collectible up here, and I got that. Yeah, I remember now. Right, and I think I even, like, cheated. I just, like, jumped up like this and got the, the log or whatever it was here. 
Hmm. Oh, right. Isn't there... I think the ammo power-up is in one of these, like, right here. Oh, God. Nope. Ooh! That was a curb boost off of the very corner of the, the platform. You can do those, which is pretty cool. And, of course, you could do stuff like mega jumping off of this, but... Ah. Oh, it wouldn't ever be useful in a, uh, a speedrun, because, like, you, you don't need to. You could... If you're using mega jumps, you can do much better ones earlier. Ow! Oh! Not ow! Whoa! That's pretty cool. Oh, God! What? Holy shit! I'm, like, floating down. I was just floating, like, really slowly down. That's awesome. So, hold on. Let's get in here. I believe it is right... No, right here, I thought there was a power-up. Maybe we've already gotten that one. Like, right here? Was a thing, wasn't there? Maybe that was a log? I thought there was an ammo power-up that I hadn't gotten. Or maybe that was the one I did get. The first one, ammo, ammo one. I don't actually remember. Yeah, I think that might have been the one I got. Oh, I'm all the way back here now, damn. So I can do that. Nope. Tried to curb boost. Hold on. Just kind of experimenting a little bit with this. Nope. Ah, that was kind of a curb boost. A little one. Just a tiny little curb boost. That was a big one. Nice. Yeah, that is so much fun. I can get up here. Whoops. Didn't mean to dash. Ah, eh, that's not fine. Damn it. No mega. Get the checkpoint. And then... Can you, like, go anywhere from here, I wonder? Eh, not really. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Eh, let's just reset. And here, I think you can also, like, corner boost your way up. Like... Like that. Yeah, wait, can you do that normally? Just by double jumping? No, you can't. Well, you, you kinda can, but it's a bit harder. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Here was a thing up there, but we've already gotten that one. I could, like, jump up here. Yeah, that's where a power-up was, I think. Or was it over here? I don't even remember. As I said, need to be a little bit on the lookout for things that you can't, like, see. Is that a thing? I don't know. So wait, I've gotten one track and one spark. The only thing I had left in this stage was one more track, and that's it. I can probably curb boost off of this. Hold on. Yep, curb boost. Sweet. Oh man, I love all these speed strats so much. It's just the best. No mega. Oh, and yeah, for speedruns, you would want to land up here. Because then you can, like, jump up outside here and take this way around, which we've already done. There's a power up there. Why is it so quiet? What happened to the music? Is there music playing, or is this just, like, ambient noise from the thingies, the, the big cylinders? Hmm. Oh, right. Here is another thing you can do. In a speedrun, you would hit this thing, which has a boost, and then you can super jump. Nope, that wasn't a super jump. Hold on. Have to wait. Like that, and just go over, and you wouldn't have a dash, so can't dash anywhere. But still, you can avoid the helix without disabling it. And also, I am curious, I want to see a helix from, whoops, from very far away. Because then I could try and use blast, because can you...
No. And if I charge it like here, I can do it. Yeah, it's really weird. I guess I, I have to just turn up my settings to do that later on, which is a bit of a shame. And here you would get a spark, and then in a speedrun, you could just jump up here, like so. And then, how was it you did this? Curb boost? Was it curb boost? I don't remember. No, I don't think it was curb boost. You just get over here, and then you have to go across here, shoot this thing, and then that turns these around so you can, like, continue. But we're just going to take a look for collectibles. Actually, I should probably end it just right about now. Man, my voice, I'm like hoarse from all that talking. I've just been talking non-stop about speedrun stuff. So again, hope I'm not boring you with this. Hope you're also kind of interested in tricks and speedruns and cool little tricks and strats and tricks and stuff like that. I don't know, I think it's so much fun. So I would, well, don't really need to do this, but still, just in case, disable that. Oh no, I'm fine. God, have to practice, have to work on my accuracy. Yeah, so this is the end of the level, and I have not gotten the, uh, the, the final track, so maybe I just shouldn't exit it? Yeah, I think so. I'm just gonna, like, come back here, and then we'll just have to look, like, make our way down, I guess, and just check for the, the track that way. I think I had one more. Let's just quickly check that. So if I just go in here, levels, the fall, yep, one more track. So we'll look for the track next time and then head into level two and three and so on. And well, I'll probably keep talking about speed strats for some levels when I when I know them, when I can practice and stuff. As, as I've said, I haven't practiced anything, so this is all new. I'm just trying to replicate what I've seen and generally it, it kind of works. It's not that hard, but Again, in a run, it would probably be very hard to get consistently and stuff. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time in Deadcore. Bye-bye!